Hey there, welcome back to RimWorld. We are continuing our playthrough here of uh, our nation of uh, southeastern or northeastern Banas, and we are our Tundra Ranchers. Looks like uh, it's been, this is a new recording session for me, so I'm trying to catch up on where we left off. Looks like everybody's got a little bit of bandaging going on, so something must have transpired relatively recently. And it looks like we have some repairs to do inside of our uh, little kill box area. But on the plus side, it looks like we have some frozen meat. So let's uh, let's take advantage of that and try to get some, some stuff into the freezer. Uh, our power situation appears to be pretty decent. And temperature-wise, everything seems to be okay. I do want to probably focus on, you know, finishing building this wall so that, so that this is enclosed and everybody has a good uh, temperature to, to live with. We should probably also build out to here. Yeah, I knew that was probably going to start happening. All right, so hopefully we can get some simple meals turning out. Uh, I think our current cook is Bonnie, even though her she's set pretty low. I think we're trying to pivot from Bonnie being the cook to getting somebody like Wright to be the cook until we can get a pawn that actually has a passion for cooking. So... Speaking of which, I think maybe we should do a little cooking prioritization because there are no meals available right now. And I think people will want to, you know, be, be able to do uh, eat some salad meals. I would like to maybe pivot and... I mean, it's fine to have a bunch of simple meals, but I do want to probably put some into... The, uh, the pen here because our animals are starving so much. So I'm going to temporarily mark that as critical. And I will leave meals there. So hopefully somebody will do some hauling at some point and get it down there. And Bonnie can just slowly convert all this to uh, meaningful food for them. Mechanoid Cluster is spawned. Dormant for now, which is fine. Uh, EMI initiates in 11 days, so we have 11 days to figure out how we're going to kind of clear this out. We do desperately need to haul some of this food. So I'm hoping... Really, really soon here, we can get uh, get some of some of these simple meals hauled over here. I'm actually going to prioritize hauling them just to get them. Yeah, I was a little afraid of that. Um, looks like Daniels is going to work on hauling the rest. We got to lower the priority of this stockpile. Holder should be hopefully hauling this. Let's take a look. All right, some food would feed a couple of them, keep them out of too much danger. I'm amazed at how quickly we're burning through all the uh, the food that we have. Yeah, malnutrition. I knew that was going to be a bit iffy. All right, we're going to have to start chopping up some. Right is our, uh, what we're hoping to be our primary chef. So let's go ahead and haul this meat over here. Prioritize cooking. Maybe we can get enough to... 
hopefully keep our animals from starving to death would be ideal. Um, speaking of which, who is our current animal tender? Um, what is that under? I keep forgetting. It's not hunting. Handling? Animal handling. So Holder is our animal handler. Let's rescue Muffalo 1, or try to anyway. Prioritize feeding. Hopefully that will... Nope. Just missed it by... Seconds. Well, let's see what we can do as far as um okay, we have lots of males. It looks like we only currently have a single female muffalo, so we definitely need to make sure that this muffalo in particular stays alive. Otherwise, we're going to have some some breeding issues. Uh right, you are still cooking simple meal, but I think you need to eat yourself. Well, not eat yourself, but eat as well. Let's do some cooking first. Then he can eat. This cooking is definitely going to be a problem. I mean, it doesn't help that we're working at 70% because uh, everything's frozen here. We are going to have to, like, make a kitchen at some point over here. Actually, we should probably reinstall that here, if anything, just temporarily. But we don't even have enough food to get through... A typical day so I probably should reprioritize that okay it looks like we have some consistent st st unstable power shell uh, power cells that are up and running that should provide us with an adequate amount of electricity uh, if our wind turbines slow down at any point Surprised nobody's gone in here to try to repair any of this stuff yet. Hopefully they get around to it. Alright, looks like we're finally hauling some of this stuff. Uh, I definitely want to haul this Glitter World Medicine. I don't know how that ended up in here. Do not want that going there. I want it in here where it's safe. So let's prioritize hauling that. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the plasteel decaying, so we'll be fine there. I kind of hope there's something that comes out of the map here and can deal with this where I don't have to deal with it but I have a feeling that's not gonna not gonna work out the way I want it to we're definitely gonna want to go there with some grenades in hand just to make sure we're properly dealing with that uh, we should probably do a fair at some point Just to get the, the mood increased and potentially recruit some people. Yeah, 94% is a pretty good chance. So let's go ahead and start that up. I'm 
Okay, we got a fun fair. Increase the ritual development. It's all pretty good. All right. That has to be at an altar with some Neil pillows. So we want a lectern. And we want some Neil pillows. Let's take a look at what we got. Um... What resource do we have a fair amount of when it comes to fabric? Uh, plain leather. We have we have a fair amount of blue fur too. I don't think it matters the like the material it's made out of. So let's just do plain leather. I think it's fine to put that there. And we do need a lectern. Let's put that there for now. It's a bit wonky. Having two uh, columns right in the middle, but... This was for a quest. We didn't build this deliberately. Eventually, I want to kind of rework it, but I'm just working with what we have for now. It would probably also be a good idea to put something in there. How are we doing on the malnutrition front? Looks like everybody's starting to kind of recover from that a little bit. I'm hoping, uh, Bonnie, do not take meat to them. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do some butchering. I think this is a a good opportunity to get some some meat in the freezer, and then we can get some proper cooking done. Let's prioritize hauling some of this stuff. I do want Bonnie to. Well, I actually want right being the one to do it, but... Alright, so the mechanoids have woken up. There were some drop pods. God, there's centipedes. That's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm going to try to ignore it as long as I can, but once we get... Once that EMI thing goes active, that is going to be problematic because that's going to knock out all of our power. And we've recently become a lot more dependent on power, so... um. Definitely don't want that to happen. Looks like we are kind of finishing our little cleanup on the map here. All right, Bonnie is completing the uh, the cooking. Let's go ahead and clear that prioritized work. We should have plenty of simple meals available for now. There's a lot of just random stuff here. I need something to start breaking down these, uh, breaking down these, uh, um, mechs, because it is getting a little, little sloppy. As a matter of fact, let's take a look and see if we have what we need for that. Um, we do have a machining table. Well, we don't have one yet, but we, we can build it. So let's go ahead and kind of get our little production room up and running here. So it's a bad temperature in here too, huh? So I think we're going to need to build a heater to keep this room warm. Alright, there's some building taking place here. Hopefully we get this all kind of built up. I think we need to do like a ceremony for changing our role because... 
Bonnie is a priest instead of the leader. And that is something I do need to change. She, she needs to be the leader. Oh, a little bit of marriage action going on here. Huntsman and Luba. All right. So we'll let Bonnie become the leader. And then I think we'll make... Who should we make the... Um... It should be somebody with decent social skill, right? Or at least a passion for it. So maybe Macy? No, she's not the right religion. We need to convert her first. Interesting. Yeah, nobody has good social skill. <laughs> I was kind of hoping uh, we'd have somebody that we could easily... Wait, so is he marrying the... Oh, the, the prisoners are getting married to each other. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. So I know we're working on converting everyone. All right, she's converted. We're just trying to recruit her. And then he is not anywhere near being converted. He must be... Um, no. Slow learn is a really bad trait. I really don't like having this guy. But I feel like I could just use him as... The shooting is so high. I could just use him as uh, cannon fodder, essentially. That's kind of the route the route I'm going with it. Oh, nice. Here's a bunch of simple meals, but you can't get to it because of where it's at. <laughs> That's really bad. Um, not, not overly thrilled about that. All right. So Daniels, when you wake up, I would like you to kind of prioritize working on this stuff. I think there's enough steel. Maybe there's not. Maybe that's the problem. At least temperature-wise, we seem to be doing okay. We're uh, keeping everybody relatively warm. Alright, so... Looks like we're still doing some general hauling, just trying to finish trimming up all the the different bodies that are over here. What is this muffalo doing? Oh, there's a just a herd of muffalo over here. Oh, they're eating the food. Nice. Well, I kind of want to build a um a mortar and start firing it over here. Well, I really can't because there's a shield. But, um, if I can find something on the edge, no. Looks like we'll have to send somebody up there or something up there if, uh, if we don't get any, anybody to wander on the map in that direction in the next seven days or so, which I am not looking forward to that, but I think, you know, we got to do what we got to do. How are we doing as far as food goes? I, I know it just went spring. But animals on the map, mufflows are up by them, so we can't do anything about that. This ibex ram can definitely be hunted, and we should. All right. Okay, so is there anything else we can do in this? Oh, it looks like Daniels is finally getting around to repairing all this damage. I think we are shy on steel, which is a little unfortunate. Um, who is our resident miner? It looks like Holder. Oh, that's not good. Animal flu. All right, so I think we're going to need to prioritize doing a little bit of mining. All 
Um, I don't know. This is all pretty, pretty open here. Let's go ahead and start working on that. Maybe I will up the mining to one just so we make sure to prioritize that because we are desperately low on steel and I at least need to get the ability to start breaking these down and that'll give us some steel as well. We are out of food. Um, looks like we may have killed that Ibex, but then, oh no, it's bleeding out. Okay. We, we just kind of ran out of food, which is unfortunate. Uh, I do want to move this back to preferred and move this back to critical. Uh, because it's more important that our pawns eat than our animals, even though we do want to keep the animals up and running as much as possible. Uh, hopefully, there we go. We have a dead Ibex Ram. Let's go ahead and prioritize butchering. Looks like that will be the Ram, so we'll let that do its thing. Holder needs a weapon. We'll just equip this bolt action rifle for now. All right, microelectronics is done. That is a big one. Um, it gives us a lot of ability to build a lot of things. Uh, I think hydroponics is probably something we want to work on. We don't have enough electricity right this second, but ultimately I think we want to tap into these geothermals and have an actual farm going that's uh, indoors so we don't have to rely on the very short growing season to grow all of our food. So uh, getting getting proper rice production up and running is going to be pretty important, I think, overall. Uh, Holder will hopefully start prioritizing mining because we are desperately in need of steel. Oh, Huntsman did convert to new pasturism, so let's go ahead and switch him to recruit. We could try to get them recruited as soon as possible. That's not good. Let's prioritize doing a little cooking here. No, you are not going to eat the meat. Uh, Bonnie, does she have food poisoning? She's got to have something going on. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna stay in combat mode until this is done cooking, and then hopefully they'll get the correct type of food. There we go. Some extreme break risks, which is definitely not good. Uh, is there anything that is in a safe location that we could hunt? I think so. We're just gonna have to check all these before we do it. That is not. And that is. All right. So we should be able to hunt some of those animals. Holder, you apparently are prioritizing hunting, which is like understandable, but we definitely need some compacted steel mined out as soon as possible. So I'm going to reprioritize you to do that. The sooner we can get the steel mined out, the sooner we can get this stuff built. And then we could start breaking all of this down, which will yield steel as well. But we're going to need a lot of steel. All these traps are going to need additional steel. Everything else. All right, let's... Prioritize mining that out as well. Make use of the time we have up here. Okay, that should give us eh, a decent amount of steel. Oh, uh, that's a bio-coated shotgun. That's not good. Not great. 
I hope. I doubt it's going to run all the way up there. I really wish these muffalo were down here <laughs> and we could take them out because that would take care of our immediate food issue. I mean, it's not ideal, but chocolate will at least address some of our food problems. Uh, let's take a look here. We're starting to get to the major break risk. Uh, that's because I'm spending too much time up here. So I'm going to let him finish and go back to base. Daniels is going to have to prioritize working on this. And hopefully that means he'll haul down some steel. Apron, as much as I love the fact that you are focusing on research, I am going to need you to do some hauling because that seems to be a an issue right now. We're getting close to recruiting Luba, very close. Uh, so hopefully that happens relatively soon. Uh, we are in the spring, but it's still not uh, not quite season enough to start growing. So I'm hoping we can prioritize growing food as soon as possible. All right, Daniels is getting some more steel, which is great. That should take care of the machining table. We also need to get this heater built. So it looks like we're eating a lot of human meat, which is all we have available, which is, you know, unfortunate for those that are not um, cannibals, but at least they won't die. Although it will pretty negatively affect their mood. Let's go ahead and add a bill to shred mechanoid. And we're just going to do this forever. And hopefully this will allow them to uh, break this down and get more material. So what kind of job is shredding mechanoid? I think uh, just crafting. Which I believe like apron and holder and to some extent Beth are capable of doing. Uh, I am going to at least temporarily once he's done with horseshoes, I'm going to prioritize him shredding mechanoids. I want to start breaking that down and getting some of that steel available to use for other things. Looks like Daniels is going to eat a little bit of chocolate and then hopefully go back to work. It is interesting. There is a single berry bush that uh, is yielding, uh, yielding some fruit, which is uh, interesting for the time of year. But I will take whatever I can get at this point because it is kind of rough rough times at the moment everybody is uh, a cannibal whether they want to be or not and there we go luba is a new recruit he is an undergrounder that is a very high crafting skill so i do think we need to maybe reprioritize some of the stuff here smithing tailoring crafting i think all could be really good priority for her and then, of course, the patient bed rest and firefight. So that will be good. I think we could probably even clear Apron uh, from those job duties. And we can move Luba over to them now that we have somebody else that's available to do crafting. But I think that's a good spot to put the cut in for today. We finally have mechanoid shredding up and running. We're starting to repair our kill box. We have a machining table going. Everybody has pretty stable temperatures. Uh, we did get the unstable power cells built. We temporarily uh, resolved our um, starvation issue with our muffalo, although we're getting pretty close to uh, re-entering that territory again. 
and uh and we have plenty of human meat for consumption even though that does uh definitely come with a mood debuff uh the only remaining issue is this mechanoid cluster we have to figure out in the next uh three days so thank you for watching if you like the episode consider hitting the like button subscribing to the channel to see more content in the future and we will catch you in the next one